this is a basic demo of building a few smart materials on just this uh, simple mesh with Smartify. So you can access the nodes either from the asset browser on all these catalogs, for example the smart shader, or by using this uh, master node that you can put in your world in a second shader editor, for example. And by entering it with tab, you'll see all the Smartify nodes, so you can browse them in this uh, 2D space. With Ctrl S space, you can full screen this window, this shader editor. So that's one way to visualize everything at once. You have the, the smart mask, the smart shader, all the smart effects here. Then the utilities, mapping, noise, the mixers. So here I want to start by grabbing the smart shader so I can drag it or copy paste it from the old nodes. And I'll start by dragging a texture set. With Node Wrangler I can alt right click to connect everything very fast. And I'll just need a mapping node, either the UV or the UV box mapping. also grab it from here so it's already colored. The first thing I might, I might want to do is add some dust in the occlusion. I could use the dust smart effect or I could also just plug a smart mask in the bottom sliders of the smart shader. You can basically plug a mask and assign a color to this mask. So here I will add a flat color like some dusty beige and tweak the ambient occlusion setting. If I want to add some mocks, I can also use a smart effect, but if I want to do something different by end, I can either build a new shader with a texture set and a smart shader, or grab a pre-made shader, for example the moss shader, and simply connect them with a shader mixer, and add a smart mask to control the, the blending. So it's nice to resize all the node groups to be able to read all the sliders and to have more space to slide them. So doing this by hand I can control how performant or heavy the material gets. Using the smart effects it will always be a bit on the heavy side because there's a lot of nodes inside, but doing the dust in the occluded part with a simple connection like that allows that to be very performant, very simple. But of course it doesn't affect the roughness because it's just a, like a flat mix color. I can already set up the displacement if I want, so the moss actually displaces a bit the model. I just need to make sure the material is in displacement only. We need setting, setting surface displacement, and connect the two shaders and the material put. Here my topology is decimated, so it's pretty dirty, but I can still simply tweak the displacement settings, calm down the scale, and change the mid-level of the moss shader. Let's put it green so we can see more clearly. And as the mid-level is near zero, it means it pushes the mesh outward, while the scale defines how much the mesh is pushed. So you can see by selecting that the mesh is actually displaced. If I want, I can customize this shader by entering inside by pressing tab, and I can change the texture for example, putting some ground texture, so I can either reconnect it or simply select it here, typing its name and making sure the connections are OK. So now I can exit the shader. I added a shortcut here, Control tab to exit node groups, like you exit edit mode, and then I can change the color again to be more dusty and the smart mask uh, settings to spread a bit more. So facing off will define where the smart effect dies or stop and facing on meaning where the smart mask is at its uh, full value. And then I can edit as well the base shader. 
Another method to create smart materials is to blend texture set directly instead of blending shaders. It's much more performant for EV. So let's try on this ground. We'll grab a smart shader light. It's just a simpler version of the smart shader. And then two texture sets. Then I can pick the texture mixer here and simply connect them one by one, one after the other. That way the connections are all sorted in a few seconds. And then to the smart shader. The first thing I want to do is maybe to connect a mask. Let's connect the ambient occlusion so we will have more dust in the occluded area. I can add a few cubes to have more things going on and I will give them the, the rhino material. Connecting the ambient occlusion mask to the texture mixer. I can visualize the mask with a control shift click and boost it a little bit. I simply swapped the texture set by deleting their connection, control right click and reconnecting them. It takes just a few seconds. I can add a UV mapping node to control each of the textures, adding a few subdivisions to start to see the displacement. And now if I play with the power of the A and B texture sets and removing the soft mask for example to have a more contrasting blending. I can start to see them blend. The issue is that in Blender, the ambient occlusion is calculated after the displacement. So to control by hand where I want the dust shader to mix with the pavement, I can add a mask mixer and the color attribute. Do a paint override. I can adjust the colors of the texture set here, as well as the specular and the gloss. If I want to check my Vertex color paint override, I can always switch to workbench. And if I play again with the height power of each texture set, I can see how nicely they blend together. So that's the second method to create smart materials. And here is the scene in EV. where ambient occlusion nodes are a bit expensive but, uh, but by going the texture mixer route you can still get some smart materials able to play at 60 fps but until EV next and support for the displacement in EV it's really nice to work in cycle to have this uh, actual displacement Another thing that can be done is adding the Puddleify by creating a second color attribute and naming them. I can still control the dust or the sand independently from the Puddleify, painting black and white for the Puddleify while keeping the green and red for the paint override. Adjusting the contrast of the specular will help a, a lot to define how much the color of the texture impacts the specular. So if the contrast is too high, the specular will be totally killed. And so in the Pedalify you can control the water and the surface that's outside the water, the actual material, how each of them are have specular. And you can control the roughness of the water and the rim at the border between the water and the surface. And activate the soft pedals or not. As well as the noise. And you can always change the texture sets and any parameter. So that's it for this quick demo. Basically texture sets or shader, mixers and smart masks. I hope this was useful and thanks a lot.